to play Bang Lord's first multiplayer co-op mod. This is Full Invasion 3 and my god was it epic. If you have never heard of the Full Invasion mod series that it was Veils 1 for I believe the original Mountain Blade and also Warband, basically this is a mod that allows you to get a group of friends together on a multiplayer server and hold the line against oncoming hordes of enemies as they get progressively harder and harder. The Warband version of this mod had uh, versions for Helm's Deep where you're playing as the, the Rohirrim and the Elves holding back the Urukai. I believe there were Star Wars versions as you were pushing back the droids as they descended upon Karasan and as well as that there were also many many other different variants so that's why I'm so excited for this version of the mod. So of course I want to give a massive thank you to the developers for inviting me to go ahead and test out in this very I guess kind of early stage of the mod as we're getting a real good glimpse of it but it is looking absolutely amazing you'll be seeing throughout the uh, video itself the, the level of which the enemy are spawning. You know, Warband never had this many bots on and I believe they've actually managed to get it all the way up to a thousand bots on the map in one time. So in this current beta build you'll be able to see that you start off going into a map and you can basically pick your attire, your equipment, whether you want heavy armor to go ahead and be able to take damages, uh, damage and crossbow fire or maybe you want to go more light armor so you're faster and you can basically surround the enemy in quick fashion and kind of dodge their attacks that's all up to the player you can also go ahead and pick your weapons and if you want to be on horseback or not i would imagine that as the mod does actually eventually release you'll be going ahead and actually having to pay for this stuff right now we're just testing it so they're giving us all the items for free but i imagine you'd have to get kills to gain currency to then eventually equip your your character with better better stuff which is a nice little level of progression I, I really really like that style classes will also be the, a thing in the full release of the mod itself right now you're basically just picking between some soldiers and they haven't really been implemented but as the mod gets developed you'll be able to actually go ahead and see the specific classes so if you want to be an archer you'll have to pick certain classes that will go ahead and vibe with that and i'm sure there'll be many hybrids and uh, it'll be interesting to see if you can like improve these classes again as the match goes on i think that'd be a real good selling point for the mod is just like you're you're basically progressing your character as the waves themselves get more progressively more difficult so now that you've got ahead and equipped your character you are thrown into a map we are currently playing on one of the custom maps um, as we're on the beach landing we can get pushed back further and further into the fortifications and then eventually into the caves when the mod does release they do plan on making it so that there are capture zones that you're gonna have to try and hold from the AI and obviously if the AI overwhelm you you're gonna end up losing that capture point and pushing you back as of right now there are just different spawn points but that is something they do plan on changing and actually having physical capture points you have to try and hold and imagine again it would be really cool to have that tied to like a score the more capture points you hold the higher score you get at the end of the game maybe more resources you gain so you can actually equip your characters with better equipment so with this map, you are defending a beach to begin with. You'll be able to see the boats moving in and then there, there'll be soldiers spawning on them and coming in. It'll start off with a few waves of peasants. I believe in the first couple of rounds, we got around about 100 soldiers coming off the boat uh, and none of these guys had shields. They're in very light armor. They basically get one shot by any equipment we have. And it was a pretty easy time of it. You'd basically just outspeed them. However, as the rounds went on and on, the, the numbers kept on increasing. We went from 100 to like 150 to 200 300 and it just got worse and worse and not only that the soldiers got way harder we started off getting sword and shield infantry spear infantry was a pain in the ass and then these waves started to go ahead and combine together because we weren't killing them fast enough so we were getting you know spear and shield and then backing them up was a line of crossbowmen or a line of archers and that just adds such a heavy level of difficulty to the game because all of a sudden we were really struggling because even if we were trying to like you know outpace the attacking sword and shield infantry then the crossbows would hammer us from the side so then we had to push back and defend the line back in the cave because that was a one way we could really go ahead and funnel the enemy in and avoid the missile fire of course as we got pushed back the spawn points got thrown further and further back as well which then gave the ai which was spawning on the 
beaches, more time to move in. There was also an assortment of artillery scattered around, and I believe they do plan on adding in more obstacles and other stuff that the players can interact with. And again, I would imagine to spend that in-game currency that you'll be getting through kills uh, to go ahead and buff up your defenses. It'd be really cool if there was like an engineer class as well. I think it'd be super dope. Uh, and that engineer class was tasked with actually kind of defending, repairing artillery and uh, building maybe new ones on the go. Stuff like that would be very exciting. So as of right now, there is actually no ETA or when this beta build is going to be available to the public. However, they had said they are looking to try and get it up for the end of the year, which is very exciting because, of course, there's not many months left in the year. So if we can start getting the servers online for Full Invasion 3, oh boy, will that be fun just to dive in with like 20 people all in vo voice comms and really going to get to experience the true, uh, you know, the true exciting nature of this mod and Bannerlord multiplayer. I think that'd be just amazing. And also, it's just kind of like the beginning for Bannerlord multiplayer modding now that we have custom servers. You know, just imagine this defending Helm's Deep, the Hornberg against the Hordes coming in when people really start to kind of dive into all the custom assets for the mod as well. The developers are planning on adding in custom AI waves, so it's not necessarily going to be just Bannerlord. They've shown pictures of armors for, for certain attacking armies. So again, they're not just going to be kind of Kuzai peasants and stuff like that they want to add in zombies and other creatures along the line though know, different races and stuff like that with all different custom armors especially for the boss waves as well they want them to be really really impactful and again i think that's going to add so much to the mod itself along with all the custom maps and and armors and weapons and stuff and really kind of make this a unique experience of course right now we're just seeing a lot of the default assets because the idea is to kind of get all the bots working and everything along them lines and kind of really put Push how many of them you can get in the maps and make sure all the maps work and the servers are functional which is completely understandable but when we start getting these custom kind of attacking waves and monsters and uh, different armors and like vampires oh man it's gonna be good and then all the additional sub mods like helms deep minus tirith it's looking very very bright for the future of battle lord modding and i definitely cannot wait and i will be there every step of the way so if you want to see the full gameplay from the uh, from the video today that'll be uploaded tomorrow so make sure you subscribe for that and check out the channel tomorrow i'll be showing a full 30 minute video of me playing in this event so definitely check that out if you want to see me cover more of this full invasion free and next time they hold a, a test event I, i'll be happy to dive in and record that if that's something you guys want to see let me know down below in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one